a short story by ernest hemingway this is chapter ten from his nineteen twenty four edition of in our time read for love stories volume two by kevin s this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org a short story by ernest hemingway one hot evening in milan they carried him up on to the roof and he could look out over the top of the town there were chimney swifts in the sky after a while it got dark and the searchlights came out the others went down and took the bottles with them he and ag could hear them below on the balcony ag sat on the bed she was cool and fresh in the hot night ag stayed on night duty for three months they were glad to let her when they operated on him she prepared him for the operating table and they had a joke about friend or enema he went under the anesthetic holding tight on to himself so that he would not blab about anything during the silly talky time after he got on crutches he used to take the temperature so ag would not have to get up from the bed there were only a few patients and they all knew about it they all liked ag as he walked back along the halls he thought of ag in his bed before he went back to the front they went into the duomo and prayed it was dim and quiet and there were other people praying they wanted to get married but there was not enough time for the bands and neither of them had birth certificates they felt as though they were married but they wanted everyone to know about it and to make it so they could not lose it ag wrote him many letters that he never got until after the armistice fifteen came in a bunch and he sorted them by the dates and read them all straight through they were about the hospital and how much she loved him and how it was impossible to get along without him and how terrible it was missing him at night after the armistice they agreed he should go home to get a job so that they might get married ag would not come home until he had a good job and could come to new york to meet her so understood he would not drink and he did not want to see his friends or anyone in the states only to get a job and be married on the train from padova to milan they quarreled about her not being willing to come home at once when they had to say good-bye in the station at padova they kissed good-bye but were not finished with the quarrel he felt sick about saying good-bye like that he went to america on a boat from genoa ag went back to torre di mosta to open a hospital it was lonely and rainy there and there was a battalion of arditi quartered in the town living in the muddy rainy town in the winter the major of the battalion made love to ag and she had never known italians before and finally wrote a letter to the states that theirs had been only a boy and girl affair she was sorry and she knew he would probably not be able to understand but might some day forgive her and be grateful to her and she expected absolutely unexpectedly to be married in the spring she loved him as always but she realized now it was only a boy and girl love she hoped he would have a great career and believed in him absolutely she knew it was for the best the major did not marry her in the spring or any other time ag never got an answer to her letter to chicago about it a short time after he contracted gonorrhea from a sales girl from the fair riding in a taxicab through lincoln park end of a short story by ernest hemingway